part one of the show, episodes one through five, it seemed to follow the book more closely, whereas these two more recent episodes seem to kind of be doing their own things. And so, yeah, I'm worried where the show is going to take things. Hello, and thank you for joining me here today at Why the Book Wins, where I compare books with their movie adaptations or their TV show adaptations on occasion. And today I am talking about American Horror Story Delicate Part 2, which is an adaptation of Delicate Condition by Daniel Valentine. So yeah, American Horror Story has returned. We waited six months, but it is back and I'm here to talk about episodes six and seven. And in preparation for this, I did reread Delicate Condition and I loved it just as much the second time as I did the first time. So if you still have not yet read that book, I highly recommend it. Part one of the show, episodes one through five, it seemed to follow the book more closely, whereas these two more recent episodes seem to kind of be doing their own thing. So it does make me curious to see where the show will continue to go. And I will be linking to all of my other American Horror Story Delicate Condition videos down below in the description. So if you have not yet watched those and want to catch up to what is happening, I will go ahead and link to those so you can watch them. But yeah, we are getting right into spoilers. So part one left off with Anna's pregnancy return she had a miscarriage when the Cara Delevingne character gave her an ultrasound which caused a miscarriage but then her baby returned so she is pregnant yet again but of course she is having very strange side effects that are very disturbing and then when she was in her early 20s she was in this tv show about witches actually it was like a Sabrina the teenage witch kind of show and they made these dolls that looked like her and the dolls are discontinued but she is finding them around where she is staying and they have markings on them kind of like a voodoo type thing and then she is also being followed by a woman named Miss Preacher. And Preacher thinks that the clinic Anna used for IVF, that there is something shady going on there and they are evil. And so because Anna used them, she is now stalking Anna. And Anna is a famous actress. She is up for a ton of awards for her movie, The Atour. And so yeah, her manager, who in the TV show is Kim Kardashian, is really pushing her to campaign for all of the awards she possibly can. So to get into episode six, this episode begins with us seeing Anna's parents, actually. And we see that her mom died very soon after she gave birth to Anna. And we also see that one of the nurses in the hospital is the same woman, Nicole, who is Talia's house manager, who we have seen. So we see that she and she hasn't aged a day. So clearly she is involved in all of this. And so that's how the show starts out. And this is unique to the show. In the book, her mom did die, but it wasn't until she was like 12 or 13. And then she went to go stay with her father and his new wife, but she was never very close to him. But yeah, in the show, they have her mom die soon after she is born. And then later when we get to present day, we see that the actress who had been Anna's top competition with like the Golden Globes and the SAG and the Oscars, she has died in a car accident and Anna is very shook by this. But now she is the number one contender for all of the awards. And so Siobhan, of course, is focusing on that aspect of it. And speaking of Siobhan, so the guy behind the auteur, he actually like did not write that script and it was actually given to him by Siobhan and then it ended up being this critically acclaimed movie that is up for all of these awards. And he has also been having an affair with Siobhan. And so they have this situation going on where she has sex with him and she also is helping his career. And then he's obviously doing favors for her as well. But he tells her like, I can't live with myself knowing that I am getting all this praise for something that I actually had nothing to do with. So I'm going to go to the press and I'm going to tell them everything. And then later in the show, he is found dead and it is assumed he committed suicide. But of course, it seems to heavily imply the fact that Siobhan and whoever she's working with had something to do with his death. And again, none of this is in the book. In the book, as I've said in previous videos, in the book, Siobhan was a fellow actor, not Anna's manager. And she also isn't in the book very much because she is sick and on her deathbed. And so yeah, the TV show makes a lot of changes with Siobhan. I may have felt iffy about Kim Kardashian at the start, but I will say she's growing on me the more episodes I see and I thought she was good in this. And then when they go to that actress's funeral, I thought she had a really cool look like the outfit she had on and the really dark lipstick I liked and her sunglasses. And then even her acting, I really don't have any issue with it at this point. But also in episode six, we meet Dex's father for the first time. So in previous episodes, we heard that his mom, they are divorced, and his mom wants to sue the dad because she is claiming that he was using her, he was like drugging her and using her in rituals or something. And so she had wanted Dex to testify. But in this episode, Dex finds her dead and she has slit her wrist. And on the mirror, she has written like, I've warned you or I warned you this would happen or something along those lines. And again, none of this was in the book either. We hear very little about Dex's parents. He just comes from a normal 
family. So yeah, all of this stuff is exclusive to the show. And like I said, these two episodes I'm talking about are very different from the book and they're really just doing their own thing at this point. But yeah, in this episode, we also get a scene where she is at the art gallery opening. So Dex is working with Talia, who is the investor and his friend, who is also friends with Adeline. And Adeline is Dex's dead former wife. In the book, Adeline, they had divorced, so she is still alive, whereas in the movie, she has died. And Talia, we saw this in a previous episode that she clearly just doesn't really like Anna. And we see that here again as well, where they have a terse interaction with each other. And then we get another scene that is very similar to the bathroom scene at the Gotham Awards where that lady is being like, oh, I'm such a huge fan of yours. And then she thinks she kills the lady, but then she doesn't. And it seems like it's a hallucination. So that lady shows up again and it's like the same situation almost. And then also Cara Delevingne, she is there as well. And she was the nurse that gave Anna the ultrasound. And so Anna is like, I know who you are, stay away from me and my family. But then Cara is pretending like she is like, what? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. But then Sonia, who looks exactly like Adeline, she sees Anna and Anna she has a cut and then she has that spot on her lip and other things and Sonia kisses these spots and then they all go away so she kind of heals her and then there's a scene where all of these women who are somehow associated with these witches circle her but then it turns out it's a hallucination because then Siobhan shows up and like breaks her from this hallucination so yeah it's kind of this trippy scene we get here at the art gallery and yeah, the episode ends with her reaching out to Miss Preacher because Miss Preacher had given her a card being like, you can't trust anybody. And so at this point, Anna, she doesn't feel like she can trust Siobhan even. She's starting to second guess her. And so she calls Miss Preacher who ends up being in the same restaurant because again, she's stalking her. So the episode ends with her reaching out to Miss Preacher. So I'm assuming in episode eight, we will finally get that interaction. And this episode was fine. It was somewhat eventful, I guess. And we do get the scene where she's, in this, she's in the pool. In the book, she was in the bathtub where then she her belly is moving and then like a talon comes out. And in the book, it had been a hallucination, whereas here, she later still has a scar on her stomach. So was it real? Yeah, ultimately, like in some ways, it feels like it's just kind of more of the same. <laughs> like her just having weird trippy experiences, like someone is trying to hurt her baby, like what's going on? Uh, so it was just more of that essentially. And then to move on to episode seven. So this episode is not about Anna at all. This is all about Adeline, Dex's former wife. And I did think her backstory was pretty interesting, but all of this is exclusive to the show. Absolutely none of this was in the book. In the book, all we learn of Adeline, like I said, they're divorced. And he tells Anna because she asks him like, oh, like did Adeline want kids? And he's like, no, she made it very clear. She didn't want kids. And she waited till after we were married to tell me. And so by the way, he says, obviously he had a lot of resentment towards her for waiting till after they were married to tell him she didn't want kids. And so Anna assumes like, oh, like, was that why they got divorced? Was because she didn't want kids? But uh, she doesn't really know for sure. And then yeah, Talia is friends with Adeline still in the book, but she's also friends with Dex and Anna. And she seems to genuinely like Anna in the book. And Talia is also going through IVF. And so they bond over that as well. Whereas yeah, in the show, <laughs> Talia clearly does not like Anna. But in this episode, we find out that Sonia, the artist, that Dex and Talia are working with who looks exactly like Adeline. We find out that that is Adeline's twin sister. I assumed that it was like Adeline reincarnated or something. So the, it being her twin sister did surprise me. And something else that surprised me is that we find out that the Cara Delevingne character is their mother. So she like gave herself a C-section and she was basically dead when some witches showed up and saved her. And then she kind of raised her two daughters to be witches essentially. However, Adeline at one point, she feels like what they're doing is not good and she doesn't want to be a part of it. So then she leaves, moves to America, marries Dex, open up, opens up a restaurant. She still like stays in touch with her witchy side because similar to the basement in Talia's house, she has this secret room that she'll go in. But yeah, during this episode, while she's trying to create a new life for herself, her sister Sonia shows up and basically she ends up being killed because of the fact that she doesn't want to be part of whatever it is they're part of. And we also see in this scene that Talia is part of this group as well. And then also we see Dex walk in on his parents and this is a flashback remember so his mom is still alive and we see that the dad was indeed using her for rituals with the witches and he has them erase Dex's memory so that he won't remember having seen it and yeah they tell Adeline before she dies how like oh we're gonna find the next wife for De 
X and she is going to carry the, I feel, I forget how they phrase it, but like she'll carry the purest specimen we've ever created or something like that. And yeah, for the most part, I did like this episode. I feel like episodes like this usually would make me feel like, oh, like it's a filler episode. But I actually did like hearing the backstory of Adeline and Sonia and Cara Delevingne's character. So I did like all of that. And then how like the Dex's dad and mom are involved as well. But <laughs> the issue I have, I'm actually gonna have to get into book spoilers. So from here on out, I'm going to be spoiling how the book ends because that pertains to my complaints with this episode. And that is the fact that in the book, we find out in the end that the witches, they're not evil. They're not satanic. They're not trying to create some new specimen or get women to birth whatever creature they're wanting to birth. In the book, they are just trying to help Anna give birth to a healthy baby. That is literally all it's about. And that's all they do in general. Like they're just trying to help women in general have smoother pregnancies and be able to have babies and just be able to help them in general, like help them in life succeed. And so there was nothing evil about them. They had no ulterior motives. Whereas here, clearly they are evil and they do have ulterior motives. They are not just trying to help Anna have a healthy baby. They're trying to get her to birth some creature of some sort. And so I just don't like that because I, you know, there could be some reveal, some twist at the end where maybe it's not as it seems, but right now they seem like an evil group. And I liked in the book that they weren't evil. They were just trying to help all along. And so, yeah, I'm worried where the show is going to take things, but I do have some theories. So first of all, in the book, Siobhan is a witch. And so obviously I'm assuming she is a witch in the TV show as well, even though that hasn't been told to us yet. But I'm wondering if Siobhan was one of the original witches who saved Cara Delevingne's character because that identity is still unknown to us. But then what if Cara Delevingne Levine is the one who then turns evil and she branches off and starts her own group. And so what if there's two different groups, right? Like the good witches and the bad witches and Cara Delevingne, Sonia and Nicole and Talia, they're part of the evil witches. But then we have the good witches who are trying to help Anna. So that's what I'm kind of hoping ends up happening. Like I don't want all of them to be evil. <laughs> I want some of them to just be good and to exist just, just to try to help women out. So that is what I'm hoping happens. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments comments. Both of these episodes, like I said, like I, I like them well enough. Uh, this one got pretty dark at times, so I don't always love that. So I hope that it doesn't lean into that too much in the following episodes. And again, that was one reason why I liked the book is you find out it was nothing dark or sinister at all. Like all along, it was just a group of women trying to help Anna. So again, I just really hope they're able to stay true to that book ending in some way or other. So yeah, anyway, let me know your thoughts down below on these two episodes. If you You've read the book, let me know what you predict will happen going forward and whether or not they will stay true to the book. But also Anna campaigning for her awards and sticking with her career is very different from the book because in the book she had totally checked out <laughs> of work. Later on we find out that she does become an award-winning actor and director, but for this specific award season she loses the Oscar and she's just focused on her baby and totally checked out to what is happening with her work. Whereas yeah, on the TV show her work is still the number two priority, I guess you could say. But yeah, that is my thoughts on episode six and seven. Again, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you have not yet subscribed yet, please do and stay tuned for more American Horror Story delicate content as more episodes come out. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.